Hey everybody, how's it going today? So in this tutorial, I want to show you something that uh, I found out recently that's a kind of a nice effect. So first, I'm just going to show you a couple YouTube videos. Um, now, I, I want to keep in mind that I'm not, when I showed this video, uh, I'm not trying to, I guess, kind of take away anything from this video. Uh, this one is probably my favorite render that I've ever seen with Lumion. Uh, it's by Flyman. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show uh, an effect that I, I see a, even the best people with Lumion kind of miss. Uh, and it's a really easy effect that I think that can add uh, a lot of realism to a uh, building exterior, especially if it's glass. So if we just quickly watch uh, through this video, and hopefully this kind of uh, shows up well. So it's just this part right here. So now the the effect on the glass is that it, it's a fairly flat reflection. Um, it's now you don't typically see that with skyscrapers that are all glass like that so if we just kind of watch a little bit more you'll see that it, it is like almost kind of like a mirror it's like mirror smooth so if i uh if i pull in the other video here and sorry about this is probably a better way to do this but if we look at this video this is a drone shot uh of the exterior of a building now as you can see there's a lot of kind of like i guess the best way to describe it is like the word warble like the glass kind of moves around uh it's not a, a flat reflection so I'll show you how to do this in Lumion. It's a very, very easy uh, effect. Um, and I, I do think that it will add a lot to it. So I'm just going to be using the office example. and I've already rendered out a couple of videos that uh, people can kind of flip through. Uh, I will be uploading another video later today, I think. Uh, this is just going to be a short one since I wasn't able to upload the last two days just uh, because we were working on a project. Um, yeah, so this is a, I think that this is kind of like a pseudo Musgrave effect, or yes, I believe it's called Musgrave. It's, uh, it, that, that's what it's called in Blender at least, and it kind of gives like almost like noise. So first things first, I, I just changed the glass because I don't like the, uh, the blue glass. So right off the bat, oh, didn't mean to zoom in there. So right off the bat, if we kind of look at this, um, we can see that this glass, is, let's get out of this one here. Just put a realistic style on it. So. I think if I turn the reflection on a bit too, just so that we can see. Okay, and I'll put a plane on that. And that should be good enough. So you should be able to just kind of see um, that it's a fairly flat reflection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to turn the map scale all the way up. And then I'm going to just increase the relief a little bit because if you see what happens if I take go all the way it kind of gives these like bumps to the glass um, and you know typically if it's smaller it kind of gives like this effect which is sort of like a I'm not really sure what that's called but it kind of just makes the, the glass a bit more opaque but if you if you go all the way up and you turn it like way down then you just kind of get these like subtle kind of like bumps to it and if you actually look kind of uh, in this area you can see where the light is reflecting off of it so when it's completely flat obviously it's just a like it's a, it's almost like a mirror reflection um, but if you just increase it ever so slightly to like here, then all, all it's going to make the glass do is kind of like move around a little bit and it's not really going to, uh, it's not going to take away from much, but it will just kind of uh, give it the effect that we want. So I'll just make a quick animation and see if we can, uh, just kind of, we might be able to just see a little bit in the actual uh, reflection. I do have some finished videos, but I just kind of want to show a quick one of how it was set up. So we'll do realistic, and then I will put a plane on it. Okay, so if we go like this. Yeah, so you can kind of see like it's moving around a little bit. It's not a completely flat reflection. So I'll show you um, my my finished videos here. So uh, let me do this one first. So if we take this one, so this is the very first one that we kind of, um, like that's, that's with no um, relief on the glass or I guess you can call it kind of like Musgrave. So yeah, this is just a completely flat reflection. And like, that's fine. Um, it's just that, as I said, most of the time with a big glass building like this, you may not get perfectly reflective uh, sort of panels. But that might just be because maybe the glass, when it was installed, it was at like maybe a very slight angle or, um, you know, maybe there's just other reasons why, um, but it wouldn't be, um, it wouldn't be reflecting it like that. I, maybe even if the glass can warp, I, I don't do, uh, you know, I'm not a professional with that stuff, so I can't speak on that for sure. But I do know that looking at, um, exterior buildings like this, where the facade is completely glass, you do typically get sort of these like different reflections, uh, in between the panels, almost at different angles. So if I show you this last one, now this is a very pronounced, um, 
this is a very pronounced kind of like effect to it. I probably wouldn't go this far, but you can kind of see like how it, it breaks it up a little bit more. And so I, I would still recommend that you put a reflection plane on this because if you don't, then while the reflection is going to be kind of like uh, it'll be shimmering, you're still going to get those very low quality reflections in the way that it's moving. So uh, definitely use a, um, a reflection plane for this. And if you maybe can't afford like the computer sort of um, power to do that in a quick video, then just use a reflection orb. Uh, it's in the utilities, drop one of those in and uh, it'll just make it kind of, it's like just a quick way to do reflections. Um, I recommend you basically drop those in almost all of the scenes because it doesn't take up too much computer time. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be the tutorial for today. As I said, this is a really quick tutorial, but uh, I'd love to kind of, uh, kind of hear your feedback on this. I thought that this is a, uh, a, a pretty easy tool to use, but I think that it will add a lot of realism, uh, especially if you're kind of doing a scene where you're panning uh, up a building uh, in the middle of the day that's glass, or maybe if you're just doing like a side to side, almost like a drone shot. So yeah, uh, let me know uh, what your comments are below. Um, thank you guys for uh, all the support. If you're watching this video and you aren't already subscribed, then uh, it would really help me out if you hit that button. And uh, if you are subscribed, thank you very much for uh, supporting the videos. And hopefully I'll be able to give you more tips in the future. Have a great day, guys.